Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News and welcome back. Wow, very exciting. This is actually part four of my SCCM 2007. And as you see right here in this little list, I have part one, which I went over how to configure your boot image. Part two, how to create a package from definition. Part three, we imported the OS to SCCM. And today, I'm going to show you guys how to create the task sequence for OS deployment. So let me get into my SCCM machine and I want to uh, expand my computer management go into the operating system deployment node go into task sequence and right now I don't have anything I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna create a task sequence new task sequence okay so we want to do an install an existing image package okay we're gonna hold next let's give it a name let's get Windows Eight review image browse now I'm gonna actually do 86 and a 64 bit one and hit next so I'm actually put on here as 86 I'm gonna do a copy for that hit next image package that we want we want that one and no product key and I am going to give it a password for the administrator. Confirm that. Awesome. Next. Uh, give it a work group. I'm uh, not going to add it to my domain, but that's okay. Hit next. Specify the package of the installation, the client. That's good. Hit next. I don't want to capture any information. Hit next. Don't include any software updates. Don't have any packages. Hit next. Hit next. And we're good to go. Now we did the 86. We need to do one more. Right click on the task sequence. Go to new task sequence. Uh, install an existing image package. It's basically the same thing guys. But I'm doing it for the 64. And there it goes. Hit next. Pick your package. Yep. I'm going to put an administrator password. Hit next. Join it to a group. But well, most likely you guys have a Active Directory environment. You could do that. I do that later on in future videos. But I'm just gonna keep it real simple. Simple. Uh, browse. Need the client package. Hit next. I don't want to capture anything. Hit next. Don't install any updates. Don't have any packages. And hit next. And we are good to go, guys. That's about it for now. Uh, I'm not going to do anything else. Most likely, what you want to do is you want to right click, advertise it to a container. The reason why I'm not doing that is because my Pixie row, if we go into my Pixie service row, does not have the option that I want. Now, the option that I want is to <clears throat> have unknown computers. Basically, this is the scenario, guys. I want to take a machine that I just purchased out of the box, put it into the network, pixie boot it, and install the operating system with no problem. Right now, the way that everything is set up, you can't do that because you have to create a collection. Uh, once you create the collection, advertise your task sequence to the collection. Then you have to do a computer association. With computer association, you have to have a MAC address and do all that other stuff. That's too much work. So later on, on I believe on the next uh, part of this series, I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade your SCCM so you get that option. And on the last, last, last part of this series, I'm going to show you guys how the Pixie Boot stuff works and how it looks. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment, please like, please subscribe, please Twitter it, please Facebook it, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.